Yeah, be careful there because when you're three, four or five, you're not making up situations often. Often you're getting dam really direct damage from your parents. Really direct damage from your environment. Look, we, how, we interpret it. I mean, what, what? Well, of course there is no other way to interpret it. There is no other way. Like, if you're sexually abused at the age of three, is there another way to interpret that that is loving when you're actually being, you're actually physically in pain, being abused, you have all this shame and anger and rage being dumped on you right at that moment. Is there any other way in which to interpret that when you're three years of age? Other than you are not worth anything, you are not, you know, you are not worthy to be treated nicely. Is there any other way to... I don't believe any of those are, are minor events in a person's life. I don't feel that they are minor. Because at the soul level we are so sensitive to not being loved. At the soul level what God created in you is this beautiful ability of your soul to know when you're loved and know when you're not. And the truth is when we're in our pristine condition we know every single moment we are not being loved and it hurts, right? It, it has a lot of pain associated with it because there is no other way for us to work through the issue because we, we are not yet know. We don't yet know how to see the world. We're just absorbing the world through our emotional experience and our soul is just so sensitive to any time we are not loved. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, so yeah. it's that sensitivity. It, it No, God's love. Yeah. yeah. But God put this seed of, of natural love in us that we automatically know right from the moment of incarnation what love feels like and what the opposite of love feels like. Yeah. Right? And so whenever we're treated not lovingly, this automatically creates these emotions inside of us of unworthiness, unwanted, and all these other types of emotions. The key for you is to not intellectualize that away and say they're minor events. They are major, major, major events in your life. They have dictated to you what all of these now people, you know, the psychoanalysts now call your subconscious that drives your entire existence, have all been dictated by these emotions that have entered you at that period of time. They are very hurtful and they are hurtful because we have walked away from love as a race. And what we're trying to do here is try to reverse that process and walk back into love by firstly clearing away all of these emotions that are the opposite of love, that keep our resistance to love up so that we drop down our barriers, we become vulnerable to love again, and now real love, God's love, can enter us, transform us into this new being. Now, your soul is so sensitive to the lack of love in your life and every single time you have not had a loving interaction with somebody, whether it's been created by you or received by you or both, it has created damage in you and that damage needs to be released. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs>